Well, hello. So I'm live, and I this is going to be a quick one today, probably. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about a little bit more about ChatGPT because I have been messing around with it, and you, you know, especially in and around bullying, it can be complicated. So I was playing around with this, trying some different things, and let me see if I can pull this up. So I had this job that. We're, we're looking for a consumer deposit price and portfolio forecasting analyst. That's a that's a, a lot of things to be focusing on. It's more on the banking side, um, but there's there's definitely some great areas as far as skill sets go and things like that. So um, so yeah, I I plugged this into Chat GPT. I said, hey, build me some Boolean strings. I think the exact prompt was, what is the best Boolean string to use for this role? and I put in the job spec and see what it came out with. Um, so when you're doing this, it's best to use natural language. So, you know, like you're you're talking to a person, you're talking to, um, you're using natural language a lot of times, especially with some of these prompts. If you get too specific, then that can be, that can be problematic. Um, so, Yeah, let me just. Find my volume real quick. Here it is. Turn that down a smidge. But, but yeah, so. Plug this in. I asked, what is the best Boolean string to use for this role? And I've got a couple of variations. Um, this time it said, look for this. So it has it. It does a pretty good job of putting this stuff together. It uses and and or statements. So if you're not very familiar with Boolean, um, this is definitely something that you can use to incorporate and, and help write Boolean strings. But just keep in mind, it's AI is not going to do a, a perfect job a lot of times. I also uh, just wanted to see because I had a couple notes around this. Can they incorporate? Can they incorporate uh, ad additional things into a Boolean string? And, and so it. It gave me a, a couple of examples. So I said, uh, what did I say for this one? Can you incorporate these notes into the Boolean as well and provide a few examples? So very direct, you have to tell it, <laughs> you have to tell it for example sometimes. Um, and yeah, so it, it gives me, again, another another long Boolean string. Um, and like just like right here, I can see it didn't put that in quotes, so it's not going to look for that specific thing. It didn't put this in quotes, so it's going to look for pricing and strategy. So, you know, not perfect. You've got to check the syntax. But again, if you're not used to using Boolean, if you're not a, a Boolean nerd like I am, um, it's 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 a good shortcut. And so I've got a couple of searches that I plugged in here. And again, I mean, I've got, what, 285 resumes? May not be the exact. Oh, look, this person looks good. Reporting analyst. So not. I wouldn't say that that's off the mark. You know, that's pretty cool. So I'll plug this into Indeed just to see. You know, just to do a a, a test case on it. And yeah, uh, these folks don't look half bad at all. Now I'm looking specifically in the West Coast area. This person's Buffalo. Oh, he works. He works for us. <laughs> Don't want to reach out to him. <laughs> so, um, and what I typically do here, to I, again, like I just copy and pasted this. Let's take out those NFP bank people. Yeah, and um. Yeah, so then, I mean, that's still a pretty good list, and I can go in over here and filter all that stuff. Um, but that's definitely one I can save. Let's see this one. I got 29 resumes with one of those smaller ones. And let me just check the, let me go through here and check the syntax because that does make sense, it does make a difference. So more of a simpler Boolean string. Uh, and yeah, it, apparently I just broke it with that. 
So let me do this. Let me take out consumer. Let's do this. Let me make some adjustments. Because it literally just took the exact title, which may not be the clearest for Mr. Computer here. And liquidity. Uh, when I actually put this into a, a, a bigger Boolean stream, probably let me put Boolean inside a Boolean. And liquidity. Why did it put liquidity in quotes? I don't know. Again, AI is not perfect. Let's see what happens. Okay, so a thousand is not bad. Um, okay. So just with some adjusting, you can fix it. And really, the 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 goal of all this is to get variation. Is to get um, you know, especially if you're not used to doing bullying on a regular basis, to to get you a short list of people. Okay. Now I'm doing a national search because I'm seeing what this does, what's out there. The other thing, um, so this is one that I specifically wrote, and it is a little bit more complicated and niche. So I was looking for something very specific. Oh, you can't see, can you? Um, let me flip the screen. That, that would be better. Okay, so let me go back because you couldn't see the screen. Um, so, so this is what I put down initially. What is the best Boolean string to use for this role? Consumer deposited pricing portfolio forecasting analyst. Lots of lots of um, business banking stuff. Uh, it's it's a basically it's a financial analyst within like deposits and pricing and consumers and, and stuff like that. I'm mean, using portfolios, uh, doing a lot of forecasting, things like that. Um, and I said, hey, Chat GPT, can you build me the best Boolean string for to to look for this type of, of role? And so it did. It did. That's here, right here. Let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see. Whoa, that's a little bit too big. Um, and so, yeah, you can see it puts together a Boolean string. So if you're not great at Boolean or you're just not really familiar with how to do that, ChatGPT can be a shortcut. The other thing is, um, yeah, the, the other thing is in, in regards to incorporating my notes, I asked it to incorporate these notes as well and, and, and edit some stuff to the, the string and also asked for examples using some of the natural language. Can you incorporate these notes into the Boolean as well and provide a few examples? So um, so I took that stuff, it added some additional and and or statements. It's probably too long of a string, but also I, I was A-B testing uh, a couple of these and these are my results, okay? So this was one of the longer strings, I think the initial one, not off the mark at all, okay? The other one, I had to adjust, I had to put this into more of an or statement because it was looking specifically for consumer deposit pricing analysts. That's not gonna be on a lot of people's resume all close together like that. So um, so I adjusted this a little bit, not too much, but just a little bit. And it this looks like focused in the right areas as well, okay? Um, so I've got two variations here. And why this is important, because if, with every variation, you have a different list of candidates, different list of names. And this is all through Indeed right now. I just wanted to show how that differs. Now, this is one that I've developed. This is one that I've used uh, before to, to reach out to the same sort of thing. And I was also looking for product managers. So you, you probably see some product managers in here. But again, a different. This is this is my own Boolean. OK. But again, it's targeting similar types of people. So however you do it, whether it's using ChatGPT and, and plugging it into Indeed or whatnot, um, however you can get that focused pipeline, that focused area, um, it, this, this might be a good tool for that. The other things that I've done, um, yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot that I've been messing around with this in regards to prompting. I mean, 
yeah, you can go, you can definitely go down a rabbit hole. I haven't really done too much on the scripting or, or programming slide, but um, it is pretty cool when it starts showing code and stuff like that. And they have some, I don't, they have some examples here, um, especially about anything that you need explanation for. Um, where's my chat window? So what are the, So if I was to ask, what are the best social platforms to post content? Gives me a list of places to post. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, probably LinkedIn. Yeah, LinkedIn. And YouTube? Ah. <laughs> so those are the top five. Oh, and TikTok, duh. Yeah, absolutely. So if you were to do any kind of social post or social uh, social outreach or anything like that, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, YouTube, and TikTok, those are the big six. Used to be big five until TikTok came around, and now it's the big six. Hey, Robbie. I see your comment. <laughs> but no, I, so I mean, whether it's rewriting job specs, Oh, I got to show you guys something real quick. Um, I wish I had my job spec on here. I do want to show you something that I found hilarious. Um, oh, I'll just do it with this. Okay, so let's do this. Rewrite. I posted a couple of things like this on LinkedIn. So a funny thing that I found, okay, and this is just pure morbid curiosity. Um, you can rewrite anything in the form of something else. So if I was to say, rewrite this in the form of macho man randy savage which i did uh it will put in some of his mannerisms usually it's at the top and at the bottom but if you see but if you're the cream of the crop you know what it takes to be the best of the best that's something that macho man specifically said in one of his promos um i've had a lot of fun with this because if you're looking to for a different way to to think about how to engage talent i mean give this a shot because i think it's hilarious so I'm actually thinking about utilizing some of this in my outreach just to make people laugh, have a picture of Macho Man or something out there stating some of this stuff. But right here, oh yeah, snap into it, brother. We're talking about consumer deposit pricing portfolio, portfolio, portfolio forecasting analyst. This role ain't the faint of heart, no siree. I don't think he ever said no siree. So again, AI is not exact, but it is, <laughs> it is B, it, it, it is, pretty uh, pretty funny in regards to that so uh yeah you got to be in the cream of the crop dig it right so I, I mean yeah it's it's just a funny way to um to get your stuff out there and and yeah so play around with it uh, definitely make sure that, um, you know, you, 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 you ask it a couple of different questions because I've found that if you continue to, if you, if you ask it one question and then, uh, try it in a different way, you can get a different result. So, and you can always regenerate the response too. So as I continue to, um, as I continue to, to mess around with this, yeah, I'll definitely, definitely let you guys know. And again, like you can you can uh, regenerate and it might have a different format. It might add a different a different list or a different factor into your list. So definitely play, play around with it. I've I've had a lot of fun and uh, I'm going to continue to mess with this, utilize this. And, and now, like, I've got a couple of different strings that I can use not only here. Well, that's my string. 
But if I was to put this in LinkedIn too, well, let's not go to LinkedIn. Let's go to Zoom Info. Go to Zoom Info and see what we can find there. Just actually with one of this, these more um, general ones. Let me see what happens here. Zoominfo.com slash P. I want to look for profiles. Oh, I broke it. That is because it is too specific. That's why. Oh, I broke it again. Yeah, we've got too many words here. Let me try a different one. Let me try this. Yeah. Let me just try this version and see if we can get something. Yeah, and Zoom Info is not as uh, data rich as some of the other sites, so that doesn't surprise me. If not, I can just go to LinkedIn again. Okay, and here we go. Here's an example. Okay. So, again, different list. Use part of that Boolean string. But, uh, yeah, definitely something that you can utilize across different platforms. Let me just put in this for LinkedIn and see what we can find. Yeah, there you go. And now all I have to do now is focus on location. I've got several pipelines that I can utilize now. And yeah, that only took me, what, 20 minutes, something like that. So yeah, that's another live stream in the books. And I will do another one of these uh, because I want to look at a, a tool called Inter Interstellar that Sean told me about. So I'm probably going to be trying to get a trial or something set up with that for the next time. Um, I'm going to be on uh, recruiting brain food tomorrow morning around eight o'clock central standard time. Um, and then I have a dueling sorcerers coming up in May. So um, if you're looking to catch me live uh, outside of the uh, live streams that I do, um, I'll, I'll be, I'll be making my, my uh, circles around uh, some of those events too. And I'm looking to, I'm planning to do another Dueling Sorcerers, um, not not only in May, but uh, probably in August as well. So just keep uh, keep looking for information on those. Okay. And yeah, so that's it. And I will, thanks for joining and I'll see you guys on the next one.